see how fast we can set up a integration between GitHub and Jira using the TaskTop Integration Hub. You can see I am starting to install the Integration Hub here. So this is, we're going to include in our time, the time it takes to install TaskTop from a clean install. And then we're going to set up the configuration and then we should see the synchronization work. As we're waiting for everything to get copied here, we can look at the repos that we're going to be dealing with. So this is Jira. I have a filter set up for GitHub. I've got one sample bug in there. And in GitHub, I've got a repo set up called Jira Demo 3. And that has one sample issue in there. OK, so the task top installation wizard is done. I'm going to go ahead and click Finish. I'm actually going to have to uh, update my port settings because on this local machine, I have a port conflict, um, but you probably will not. So I'll go ahead and add this to our time here. And we'll paste that in there. OK. And now we're going to come in here and we're going to start TaskTop. OK. Looks like we've started up there, and now we're going to go ahead and open the TaskTop Integration Hub here. No problem. I don't have SSL set up, so we just have to say no problem here. And we'll enter in our sample password, which is TaskTop. And voila, we are almost there. Let's do it one more time. So we'll set up a password. Again, this is a totally clean installation. Great, I'm going to expand this, and then we're going to get to work. So we're going to go ahead and set up our repository collections first. Actually, first we're going to um, add our license. So our license gives us the ability to add all the functionality that we need. I've got my license file here. I'm going to copy it and paste it in here and save it. OK, so now we're ready to go. We'll come up here, go to our repositories, and we're going to connect to Jira. We're going to call this Jira. And we know the it's 8083 and the username down here. So we just need simple credentials with uh, permissions to read and write in a particular project that you want to synchronize. So we're done there. And now we're going to add the GitHub um, repository connection. We're going to call this GitHub. And we know this is on HTTPS API GitHub. Uh, yours might be a little different if you're running the enterprise version. And we're going to add our credentials here. My credentials are at A Jones Tasktop. And then I've got my password. And that's all we should need. And we're done there. So we've got our repositories connect connected. Now we're going to build our collections. So our collections is when we. We go into, uh, we're going to go into GitHub here. We'll call this our GitHub issues. And we're going to specify which repo we want to deal with. And we'll look at the those available to us. We want demo three, and we'll select that. We could select more, but we're just going to pick one because this is an exercise in speed here. OK, now we're going to choose the defect model. So we ship with a number of standard common artifact models. Uh, defect is one of them. And we're going to map the GitHub schema to our generic defect schema here. Everything looks good here. We're going to do state to make sure state maps up. So we'll say closed in GitHub is equivalent of done in our model values. And then we're going to say open is equivalent of new to do in progress or empty. And these model values here are configurable. You can add new ones or delete them or change them, whatever you'd like. So we're done there. We've got our GitHub collection done. Now we're going to create a Jira collection. So let's go ahead and go to the Jira screen repository, and we're going to call this Jira Bugs. We're going to connect to Jira here. We're going to pick our project, which is demonstration. And then we're going to select the defect. So now. Both GitHub and Jira will be mapped to the same artifact model, which is defect. Oh, I didn't properly get my project there. There we go. 
and we're going to choose the bug artifact type in Jira. Jira has multiple artifact types, GitHub just has issues. Okay, we're going to save that. And we're going to come up here and now and map our schema field. So priority, we're going to delete that and re-add it. We're going to add it as a um, as a constant value, which is just like a, a static value. So every time a, G a GitHub issue comes into Jira, it will have a minor status because pri priority uh, that field does not exist in GitHub. Okay. Um, at least in the our, the way our repo is set up. So status, we're going to go ahead and configure. Um, let's say we know resolved is def and closed are definitely done. And this is not going to be totally accurate, but you, again, you can change these to make it more accurate. We're going to say open is equivalent of new, and reopen is to do. And we don't need empty mapped, so we're done there. And we don't need resolution map. Let's make sure we, oh, we've got one required field, and that's indicated by the red there, and it's sync project. We're going to set that to a constant value too, and that's going to be set to GitHub issues. Okay. So we're done there, we're done there. I actually need to go back into Jira and enable the ability to use the favorites defined in the Jira server itself. So we have a favorite in Jira right here called um, all Jira bugs for GitHub. So we wanna make sure we only get artifacts that are in that favorite filter. Okay, so we'll go back into our Jira collection and choose that favorite issue filter and we want it to be github all jira bugs for github that's what we want we're going to save that done so that will restrict so we don't pull all 200 bugs for other projects and fields in there okay so now we're done there now we are going to build our integration so we come in here and we're just going to marry these two collections we've built we built the, uh, the Jira collection that has our Jira bugs, and we built the GitHub collection that has the GitHub issues. So go ahead here and just give it a name. We'll call it Jira to GitHub. We're going to save that in artifact routing. We're going to allow things to flow both ways. And on artifact creation flow, we're going to allow two-way creation. That looks good. OK, it appears we are done. We're going to go ahead and hit Run and look at our activity stream here. So this is where we can monitor what actually is being synchronized. So pretty soon, oh, we got an error here. What is our error? Okay, we are going to cancel all those and I'm gonna actually modify our mapping to make it a little simpler um, with the person mapping. Um, we're gonna make that, we're gonna remove that person mapping issue there. Um, so this is a simple mapping. We don't want people to flow over yet. We just want to get artifacts to flow back and forth. Okay, we'll save that. We're done there. And we're going to go into our activity stream and we're going to reprocess our errors. Retry all, okay. So now we're processing these two and voila, there we go. So we even had some troubleshooting, but we've got defects flowing from each tool. So let's go back in here and that, that just, that seems that that was on about nine minutes is what it took to set that up with troubleshooting. So I just wanted to emphasize that um, we're at nine minutes. If we go into our issues now, we can see that we've got two, that bug from Jira came over. And if we go into Jira, we can see that our GitHub issue came over as well. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to create a new issue here in Jira so you can see a clean one flow over. So we'll call this sample bug B in Jira. And we're going to make sure that goes over to GitHub. Create that there and going back to GitHub and refreshing, we should see that pop in there. So Tastop still thinking, still processing. Oh, let's go back to 
GitHub and refresh. And I think what's going on is our, our we can set our, our configuration interval to be a little shorter right now. It's set to one minute. I like to go really fast sometimes and set it to three seconds so you can really have near real time. Okay, so we'll go back into our activity screen and now we picked it up, we're processing it. And now if we go into GitHub and refresh, you can see it there. So in summary, we did a clean install of TaskTop. The TaskTop was not installed. Uh, we configured TaskTop and we got artifacts flowing back and forth between GitHub and Jira in about nine minutes, and that did include some troubleshooting. So the point here is that you can get an integration flowing very, very quickly with zero coding or scripting, um, less than 10 minutes between GitHub and Jira. Thanks for watching. Bye.